Hi again everyone, Simon Keeling here, it's your second video of the day. Can you believe it? How I look after you. Yep, two videos today. It's uh, Friday the 20th of April and this is the uh, forecast looking ahead into the weekend. Um, I haven't had time to send out the usual text weekend forecast this week. My apologies for that, being busy doing some programming and developing some new services here for the website. So time has just run by so my apologies for that but hopefully this will make up for it now as always the sites get free of charge by the adverts around the screen if you see an advert you like click on it go through to the advertiser that generates revenue for us and uh, it shows the sponsor that you're interested in what we are doing so these are the charts from uh, weather online we've got the time up here in the top left hand corner this is from the gfs model and this is the chart as it was at uh, 10 o'clock this morning low pressure here centered across the north of the country now here we go into this afternoon look low pressure is still there and through this evening we've got low pressure centered across southern parts of scotland really not moving far at all uh, showers do tend to fade away two notable areas of showers though to watch out for uh, one is here coming down the irish sea into western coast of wales and southwest england these can be pretty heavy uh, and another area just running up these eastern coasts this could produce some pretty heavy rain across lincolnshire and the far northeast of england during this evening and tonight and some rain feeding onto the eastern coast of scotland too also another area of showers through the channel now the wind is generally going to be light but through the channel i know a lot of you who sail watch this and uh, in this channel we've got west south westerlies tonight probably blown at around about a four six may well touch a seven or an eight on these western coasts so just something to be aware of now into saturday morning the low pressure is still there with us and uh, it lasts into saturday afternoon what i want you to notice though is see in the morning how we've got some showers across central and eastern scotland also running up through the channel onto southern coast of england notice there are very few elsewhere but watch what happens into the afternoon bang there they go look showers developing once again some of these are going to become heavy during saturday afternoon uh, places that will not have so many showers uh, western coasts of wales southwest england perhaps the western coast of scotland too but elsewhere you can see heavy showers are going to be breaking out some of those quite blustery um, and the winds tomorrow across the southern parts of the country here are going to be around a west to west northwesterly probably blowing around about a, a force five four six so that's around about the 15 to 20 knot mark um, through the western channel again though could be looking at four seven so we're up to 25 knots there for those of you who fly i know that the aviators you're watching this as well i think generally good conditions during the morning that's when conditions are going to be the best but showers getting going from mid-morning onwards and then we've got these cloud bases typically at around two or three thousand feet but they will be down to 1500 feet at times in those showers particularly the midlands northern england and scotland where the bases could get even lower and there will be some embedded cumulonimbus in there as well now overnight into sunday low pressure ah, there's a surprise for you is still there centered across the country we've got this westerly though down towards the south and notice again how the showers die away very few showers overnight just a few coming around the back of the low the winds rotating around the low like so so just one or two showers across western wales and southwestern parts of england here's the fellow coming in for monday though we're going to keep our eye on so I think very few showers overnight, maybe a touch of groundwoods overnight into Monday. There it goes. It takes its area of rain with it, but look how the winds strengthen as the low moves up through the channel during Monday. It could be a very, very wet day across uh, the southern half of England and Wales during Monday. Northern areas, though, very much better. A few showers for eastern Scotland, but uh, I think western parts of Scotland probably getting away with it. Into Tuesday, the low goes into the North Sea. We're still dominated by it. It'll bring an unstable air mass, which means sunshine and showers most of the showers across northern and eastern areas fewer of them down towards the south and west but then look another area of low pressure moving in for wednesday that one follows a very similar track at first but then slows up as it moves into the irish sea yet more rain to come across uh, england wales and ireland and eventually moving into southern parts of uh, scotland but just look at how strong the winds are down towards the southwest too these are gale force winds coming into the southwest and again into the western parts of ireland during the day on thursday and you can just see look, that low is still there as we head in towards Friday as well. So a really, really unsettled spell of weather to come through next week and into next weekend. And look, yeah, low pressure is still there next weekend. But what I'm interested in is, you see these red isobars up towards the north of the country. That's indicating pressure building across Scotland and to the north of the country. Now, if you watch my video uh, looking ahead into May and June, you'll see me talk about this high pressure up towards the north. That could have implications for our weather, but I guess 
we'll wait and see so thanks again for watching have a great weekend whatever you're doing i'm sorry the weather can't be better for you but you can make it work for you if you can get in between those showers um as always as i said the site's free of charge because of the adverts that are around the screen see an advert you like click on it go through to the advertiser and that will do us all proud thank you very much indeed and uh, thank you again for watching bye for now keep the sun shining